Hey, it's Trip Kramer here from tripadvice.com. Now, you've probably heard of the nice guy. Maybe you've called yourself the nice guy. I know that I have labeled myself in the past as the friend-zoned nice guy. The nice guy who is always appeasing to people, getting in the friend zone, never having that edge. And so this was a big problem because this did not cause attraction. But how are nice guys still able to get a hot girl? or attract a beautiful quality woman. Well, here's the deal. It's not so much about whether you're mean or you're nice, okay? You can still be a nice guy, a good person. I would consider myself a good person. But the thing that changes when you're able to trigger attraction is you having more of a masculine dominant personality and being comfortable with who you are as a person and not apologizing for it. Let me give you some examples here, right? Let me give you three ways that basically you as a nice guy can still attract a really quality woman. So here's the first thing. I just wanna kinda of throw this out there. There's a lot of women who are in their you know, younger years, in high school, maybe even college, and they do go for that bad boy. They do go for that guy who is an, al who's a, an asshole and kind of that typical alpha male that you know, and they're attracted to that because he just doesn't care what people think about him and he is that kind of bad boy and she's younger and immature and so she goes for that type of guy even though he is an actual asshole, okay? Even though she still can be attracted to nice guys. But here's the deal. They go for those guys, potentially, not every time, in the beginning of their dating life because that's what's cool, right? It's cool to date a guy who's a, who's a dick. And then they end up getting burned by those guys. This is why they say the kind of nice guys finish last, but here's the thing. Nice guys don't really finish last. You have to have a personality that is not a people-pleasing mentality, trying to appease others, like I said, and you still have to have that edge. We'll get to that in a second, okay? But what happens is a beautiful woman, a quality woman, she will eventually go for a guy who is a good guy with that edge after she's been burned, okay? So that's kind of like, the first thing I wanted to say here is that, you know, she's done that and she's realized now, okay, she doesn't want to be with a guy who's going to treat her like shit. She wants to be with a guy who's going to be nice to her, but not put her on that pedestal. Okay, so this brings me to the second point. The second thing is that a nice guy is typically, right, the typical nice guy that we're talking about is typically a people pleaser, which means that he doesn't have his own personality and he doesn't have his own opinions. He's just there to be agreeable to get the girl to like him. So he's desperate and women can sense this desperation. So he's faking this nice thing like, oh yeah, anything you say I agree with, I'll do anything for you or I'll do all these nice things for you just so you like me. And she smells this desperation. So it's not just like, oh, she's not attracted because he, he's not a bad boy. No, she's not attracted because he's weak. His personality is weak. He's only doing things and only acting in a way specifically so the girl will like him, okay? So that means that he's not his own person and she's dating basically this shell. So if you decide to be a good person, a nice person, but still have your own personality, you have your own opinions, you do the things that you wanna do, you don't apologize for your actions, this is a guy who can still attract a quality woman, okay? So I want you to understand that. It's about being comfortable with who you are. The typical nice guy that we've been talking about is weak because he has low self-esteem and he doesn't think that people can like him unless he's really agreeable and over nice. And that's not what we're gonna do here. You're still gonna do the things that you want to do, which nicely leads me to my third point. A good person, a nice guy, a nice person, can still get a quality woman if he's going after what he wants. I call this dominance, okay? I actually talk a lot about this in my program called Hooked, which you can check out at getterhook.com. I'll tell you a little bit about that in just a second. But just understand that a guy who says, okay, this is what I'm going for, okay? Not just with, with women, but in life too, right? This is what I want. I want this kind of woman. I want this as my career. I want this to be what my life looks like. I want this to be my lifestyle. I want these things, I want these kinds of people in my life, right? If a guy knows what he wants and then goes after it, that is so attractive to a woman. Again, you can be a good person at heart and still go after what you want. And women are attracted to that. It's a masculine quality, that's dominant, that's pushing things forward, that's moving in a direction, that's being goal-oriented. 
Women are so attracted to that. So that's why a hot girl will still be attracted to that kind of guy who knows what he wants out of life. He's sure of himself. This is a guy with very high self-esteem that is more fearless because he's, again, he's going after what he wants and girls love this. And that's you also. The nice guy or the guy who is, you know, the people pleaser type, he's very weak. He's not really going after what he wants because he's scared and he's like kind of going after a girl, kind of not afraid to show his intentions. This is why the guy always ends up in the friend zone. Trust me, I know, I've been there. I want you to think about some of these things. And if you're trying to kind of change from nice guy, weak guy into nice guy with an edge who goes after what he wants and is more dominant, I can teach you how to do that. I talk all about that in my program called Hooked. You can check that out, like I said, at getterhook.com, and I give specific examples of how to embody those masculine traits so that beautiful women are attracted to you. Again, still with being a good person. And at the very least, I want you to start understanding and reviewing some of these concepts. And think about yourself, right? Think about yourself. Are you the guy who respects himself and has high self-esteem and goes after what he wants? Or are you just trying to do whatever everybody else says and be a follower? Are you the follower or are you the leader? Obviously, the leader is what you want to be while still being a good person. Think about that. I'll see you in the next video.